taking into cognizance that Nigeria operates three arms of government and with the new government to be ushered in by May 29th, a civil society organization conveyed in Abuja to state the, uh, that Nigerian citizens are expecting much from the Chinubu's government. The CSOs further stated that the Southeast has produced Senate President from 1919 on 1999 under the constitution or under the president Olusegun Obasanjo and nothing more to date hence the need to give the southeast a sense of belonging today southeast has two APC governors Imo and Ibonyi and one APC governor elect in Ibonyi south south has one APC governor cross river and one governor elect in same cross river Southeast has produced six APC senators elect in 2023 election from five states, while South South has six APC senators elect in 2023 from six states. From 1999 to date, South South has produced vice president and president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in the person of President Goodluck Jonathan, none from the Southeast. South South has produced two APC national chairmen in the persons of Chief John Oyegun and Comrade Adam Sashomale, none from the Southeast. South South has produced also National Secretary of APC in the person of Senator John Appan Odebe Ododegwe. South South has produced Senate Majority Leader in the person of Senator Victor Doman Egba. Currently, South South has the Deputy Senate President, His Excellency Obi Omegi. South is only produced Senate President from 1999 under President Olusegun Obasanjo and nothing more till date. Since then, South East has not produced any other top leadership under APC. Presently, there is need to dilute the Peter Obi phenomenon in the South East. The need to give South East a sense of belonging since 2020, uh, 2015 till then under APC. Need to douse the EPOC, ESN, and general insecurity in the South East. Amos Gizo, the convener in a press conference held in Abuja, clearly expressed that there are negative agitations to truncate uh, the will of the people by calling for an interim government. CSOs therefore called on all Nigerians to rise against anti-democracy and ensure a smooth transition to swear in the president-elect. Presently, as we face the transition, there are negative agitations to truncate the will of the people where Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been voted by the majority votes to lead the nation. Yet, other anti-democratic elements are calling for an interim government, military coup, and a call to stop the swearing in come May 29, 2023. We are calling on all meaning Nigerians to rise against these elements of anti-democracy and ensure that democracy thrives and a smooth transition to sway in the president-elect Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu to take over in order to minimize the myriad of problems facing the country. The objective of the CSOs is to strengthen democracy, reduce political tension, security threats and keep Nigeria one.